heading up to meet with the head of the science department and where he's getting his hair cut. I'm a uh, physics teacher and the science department chair at Dallas Town Area High School. I've been uh, teaching high school physics for 21 years. The biggest change is the number of female teachers has increased over the years. I think we've always had a lot of uh, women that have been interested in science at, at our school. Maybe it's just Dallas Town, but actually what I've seen is almost more girls than boys in our science courses. There was an article in our doctor's office about a group of doctors that had sued seven fast food restaurants. Basically, they tested the grilled chicken in the restaurants and found it contained carcinogens. I didn't know there were anything dangerous in my grilled chicken. So I thought of the idea of maybe marinating something like lemon juice, the low pH could change the shape of the proteins and stop the reaction. I tested lemon juice, soy sauce, brown sugar, olive oil, and salt water. And it turned out that lemon juice, salt water, and brown sugar actually did end up changing the shape of the proteins and stopping the reaction. It's just like listing my materials, my research, my procedure, and that sort of thing. This is a good graph because it summarizes the carcinogens in the chicken. You can see that in the normal chicken, there's a, a lot more carcinogens than when it was marinated. So when I saw it on Facebook, I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Google's doing the first science fair. So we entered pretty much in my mind not expecting anything, just doing it for the experience. If there's two good projects, a judge might pick yours one day and somebody else is the next, depending on what they're looking for, how you feel that day, how they feel, what's, whatever's going on, so. It's very subjective, yeah. I was looking back before I came here at, at our science fair winners, our grand champions and those who have gone on to the National Science Fair. Over 50% of them were, were girls, were the winners. And when I even look back into the, the 1970s and 1980s, we, we've been doing a, a science fair for 52 years now, uh, still a lot of the winners were girls. In the category of ages 13 to 14, our winner is... Lauren Hodge! <laughs> It's always really been fun for me because I love asking questions and I've always really been into science. So the lab is somewhere you, know, you can actually, it's more of a hands-on. It's just sitting in the classroom learning about what could happen. You actually get to go in the lab and actually do it and figure out what does happen. Research is just answering the questions that I've always been asking. For whatever reason in physics, more mathematical science, the most mathematical maybe, uh, not as many uh, girls seem to be interested in pursuing Maybe an engineering or physics related career is something related to biology or chemistry. You have to be so critical. Hopefully, if you're ready. There definitely are more men in the engineering field than there are women, and and I think part of it is that perception is maybe it, it's just not something that uh, that we do, or it could even be just uh, that they're not as interested in that just because of the kinds of even uh, things they played with as, as a child. Right, because you'd be able to put more in. And now that the results came back and they were relatively normal, what I'd like to do would be to build a small scale model of this, something that actually uses pumpkin, pumpkin waste to remove the heavy metals from water. The technique for removing heavy metals from water is very expensive and it's very time consuming and this would be a quick, fast, cheap, much cheaper way of uh, making this water less dangerous. My science fair actually doesn't really start till January, so I have to finish the project, write the paper, get everything done. And then if you do well enough in Dallas Town, if you like get above a certain score, you can move on to counties. And if you get, win first place overall in that, then you can move on to the International Science Fair in Tell. And then also I'm going to be applying for the Google Science Fair again this year.